so in this video we will be going through con call of page industries this is for q2 first management says that uh, they are seeing uh, a bit of re-demand in rural segments but still noticeable improvement is not there in urban and mid premium segment so it's like the market is not supporting them and if we see degrowth in volume terms for first half there is 10.2 percentage degrowth but uh, revenue wise it is 7.6 percent degrowth so basically they have increased price of all their products and that's what it is happening and uh, main problem they have is that there is excess inventory in their uh, with their distributors and with their business so this is one of the things that is creating a huge problem and they are taking very measures good measures to overcome through this so we'll be discussing about that in coming minutes and also they have again achieved their good uh, operating profit margin uh, which is at 20.8 percent it had dropped significantly because of increase in raw material prices and uh, items were not selling uh, so now uh, coming to their store format they have 1200 ebos uh, which is exclusive brand outlets and then they have 1.12 lakh mbos and there are some 2400 large format stores so actually this number has come down little in this quarter and they have explained reason for that also so they are concentrating more on metro stair and tire to the cities and their substantial growth is in online sales which is of 31 percent and this growth is because a uh, very low base effect is there on online sales and uh, they are saying that they accept that there are some challenges but they are maintaining some activities or measures they have taken to improve the inventory and uh, their operational efficiencies so if you see the rebita margin was at 28.8 percent as said because of stable raw material prices and other things and inventory point if you see they have mentioned that it is at one point or 136 crore as against it was 159 crore at the end of q4 so the inventory have come down and uh, their what all actions they have taken is being showed as uh, there is a drop in inventory and their actions are being shown there so now uh, if you see volume growth it is still in deep negative so one of the mock person asked the question that it's still in very deep negative and uh, and what is the trajectory like in for, for coming days so he the management says that actually their q2 of last year they have performed very well when compared to other companies and when compared to their old history also so that's why they have very huge base effect and because of when compared to that base this is looking very low and also they have said that uh, the festivities in last year had fallen in q2 of uh, in q2 so but this time it is in q3 so that's why base effect is very high and this time sales are low because festivities are coming in q3 so they're saying in all these effect will be seen in coming quarter and uh, then they say but despite that i think our last one was last year so one of the person asks like uh, there is low cost benefit like raw material prices have come down but still gross margins are lower than what it used to be like it was around 20 to 23 percent but now it's 20.8 percent so here the management says that uh, they don't like uh, they are doing weighted average of raw materials that is like uh, they'll do six months or three months average of raw material cost and that will be the cost for that quarter so but it's not like uh, if they got for cheap for this month same will be going out so that's why they are saying that there will be little lag effect to for that to come in place so profitability will increase in coming quarter because of this lag effect and then uh, some other person will ask like how is inventory health like is it very old stock or is it obsolete stock and raw material stock so they say that actually their raw materials like uh, what they sell is throughout the year uh, product and there is not much to be worried about health uh, when it comes to health of the inventory uh, and this is what they have said and uh, they say that uh, when they did planning for coming quarter uh, coming year uh, during the last year they had overestimated on the sale size but uh, this has come down and because of that they are facing the inventory problem now and then they also he also says that distribution distributor inventory is very high and it has come down from previous quarters so and they have also 
implemented their uh, ars initiative so ars is basically their auto replenishment system wherein uh, they uh, have a record of what all is being sold and they automatically try to replenish that like instead of distributor placing order on what he needs uh, company will decide what needs to be sold and they uh, sell it uh, but the distribution will also have distributor will also have some free freedom in choosing what the item should be so ars what it does is like let's say jockey has 10 products and one product sells very much so if retailer or seller is given full freedom what he'll do is he'll stack only that high selling item and rest all will be in background so what this ars does is they'll send let's say 100 quantities of that high selling item then they'll say sell five send five five quantities of all these new items also so that people will discover the item uh, because of this ars is there and also one more thing is like they uh, don't over order like uh, distributor should not over order and that's where ars initiative will also come like there will be one cap or something exact details i'm not sure but this is how it broadly works and uh, this ars initiative uh, was stopped during covid it was there before also and i stopped during covid because the their supply chain was a huge problem so distributors were stacking and jockey also allowed them to stack their uh, inventories but now that our situation is normal ars needs to be uh, back in place is what management feels and uh, next uh, is one of the person will ask what initiatives have you taken like to uh, maintain the market share so that others are giving discounts and you are not so what what other things you have done so the management says that they are uh, keeping their uh, expanding their retail footprint and also at the same time they are not reducing their market spends and they have uh, in fact sponsored for uh, world cup also this time and uh, so we don't see any shelf space or market space loss as well is what the management is saying and uh, then they say that sales team are also motivated and they are aware of long-term prospects and that's why uh, it's easy for them to also make people work and uh, then one more person will ask how long will it take for this inventory problem to settle uh, so the management says that it's almost like behind them and hopefully they'll be having better days in coming time then uh, one of the person will ask uh, that there has been actually a reduction in outlets or distributors mbos which uh, is there so uh, manage what is the reason behind this actually so management says that actually during covid when people returned to their tire to tire cities to cater to them they had open stores and uh, but now that people are back to office they feel that there is not re no requirement for this and they are closing on the store so basically there is not much huge uh, impact but there is rationalization which is happening so they have said that uh, uh, like let's say there is positive population of 50,000 to 25,000 then they will have three to four outlets that is sufficient no need to have 10 to 8 so remaining will be closed and it's also not profitable for them to cater to all these stores in some small small cities because logistics cost and everything will be high so then the on inventory side they have again said ars thing that it will help in improving distributors inventory health as well okay so next uh, the one person will ask how is online sales like b2b b2c d2c and uh, they so they say that they give it as b2b as uh, the, they sell their products to amazon and flipkart and they'll take uh, amazon and flipkart will take care of sales and then they also have d2c which is through jockey.in but as of now majority is through b2b and uh, then the person will ask uh, are you worried about some uh, new brands which are coming and taking their cost competition so the management says that there will be competition for sure be it in any space and they are also very excited because that keeps them on their toes and also they have openly said that they have enough muscle to tackle it like they can improve their marketing spends they have better product they can do r d and improve so they are they are aware of competition and they are also sure about uh, fighting them as well and then uh, this is what about tire to tire series which they said that uh, why their the, their shops are actually reducing they actually have reduced this quarter that is uh, rationalization so this will actually help company 
and then employee cost reduction is also there that uh, some people have left the company and at the same time they are not recruiting also because demand is low and because of this their employee expenses have come a little down uh so next uh, they are they are asking is uh, with uh, commodity prices stabilizing uh, will there be any price action or uh, price increase they'll do on products so management says they are not seeing any price action for this financial year but because of some unforeseen circumstances if prices go high then they might have to take action on that and about world cup also as i said uh, so uh, they have made uh, their marketing spend is fixed and uh, they are saying that during first half they had actually reduced and world cup and other events are happening in second half of this financial year so compared to first half second half will be higher but overall it will be in line with what they had planned so between one person will ask between volume growth and margins what your focus will be on margins than volume growth so the management says of course they are looking for volume growth but they don't want to sell product by uh, giving discounts and other things they want sustainable sales they want their customers to buy it no matter what the cost is so they are looking at volume growth as well as margins then there will be uh, some things about uh, how how much online could be online sales could be in 5 to 10 years like 5 years down the line so the management says that like they can expect around Uh, 15 to 20% of sales from uh, online in another 5 uh, years and uh, then the person asks about uh, that uh, women's innerwear versus men's innerwear business so the comp- management says actually women's innerwear per- business has performed better than men's and uh, they have given many reasons one is that the nose me campaign if you can go and google it then that will be nice uh, there is a campaign which they, they say about jockey bras and uh, then they are also saying that their sales team in this case should be more of solution providers than sales winners and uh, that is what the sales team is focusing on and they are witnessing all the their uh, in that whatever measures they have taken in results they are seeing uh, the effect then uh, then there are a lot of variable costs which are not there at this point is what someone will ask so and uh, will there be some more provisions for variable cost and will margins come down so the management says no they are very comfortable like their target is 19 to 21% and they have planned many things but they are not yet executing it because of margin problem but they are saying soon they will start doing it once their margins improves and uh, they are aiming for 19 to 21% then another person will ask like uh, how much is uh, uh, you know raw material and how much is finished goods in inventory so the company says that out of 1361 crore of inventory around 670 around 700 crores is finished goods and another 270 crores is raw material and remaining is work in progress so this number is uh, fine i feel 700 crores of uh, finished goods is a huge number but yeah soon they will start selling it like if market improves all this will sale will be done in like uh, uh, one and a half month by then so one more thing is one person will say that uh, yeah, that their sales actually uh, is highest in first quarter and then it declines sequentially and goes down like and third quarter will have five percent lower sales than the second quarter so the management acknowledges this point and they say that uh because of ars what like because uh, that they still feel that the q1 will be their highest sale quarter and uh, because of ars um as i said the smaller or new products will come and will be there in all stores and so that it will uh, get its visibility and uh, level playing field when compared to other products so distributors will not have too much freedom when it comes to selecting what should be there in their stores and this they are doing for the distributors own benefit is what the again the company is saying and um, then one more person asks like how can this happen like uh, either uh, that uh, people are uh, uh, how is that sales volume is low either people are buying some other brand or what is it uh, the reason so the company says that uh, 
that people are not buying as often as they used to like this can be seen in fmcg and many other industries and uh, the, the with increase in salary the health education rentals all these have gone up so people are not spending on other things and also the company acknowledges that it sector is under tremendous stress so their major customers will be very creamy layer which is it companies uh, which employ a huge number of people but again but uh, as given the fact that indian economy is going to boom in coming years there will be premiumization happening and there will be more and more people who will be buying premium products so company is sure of it and uh, then the company asks a uh, person will ask how are they what are the measures they are taking to so that the distributors are uh, distributors are not uh, unhappy so they are saying that they are cost uh, all like they are spending on it as i said on ars and other improvements uh, which will uh, forecast uh, the sales and then accordingly it will replenish the inventory at distributor level and it will say at retailer level and then uh, one person will ask if their exclusive brands channel outlets are doing better or bad Uh, so but uh, the management says even there the sales is negative but sales is not as negative as in other stores because ars is implemented in ebos from long time like it was not stopped during covid also so because of ars the negative impact is very low on the ebos uh, and the sales and inventory stock is also not very high then one person will ask how what about senior level exits that are happening in company like there is a uh, two people there are two people who have resigned so one person has resigned due to personal reasons and the other person has resigned due to uh, for better professional growth and there was some hesitation but i am not sure uh, what the reason is uh, and uh, they are saying that they have good management team which is like bench team with a better leadership abilities to come and take their place and then uh again person will say will ars impact in current quarter so again company is making it clear that inventories are very high as of now ars will be optimum when inventory level is optimum like if your inventory is very high first that needs to be cleared and only then ars will start uh, suggesting better uh, sales forecast and then uh, replenishing inventory based on machine learning or ai models this is all my guess but ars is what it is like it does this only that is auto replenishment system like it will forecast sales it will see in winter for what product demand is there and it will replenish it will suggest distributors to store this product so things like this and also it will give distrib- like uh, uh, what to say visibility for all newer products without basically depending on only one type of heavy selling product so then the company will ask uh can you quantify the improvement in distributor inventory so uh, company says like there is no such number which they can put but the inventory has become much better and uh, that in coming days it will improve even better and with ars health will improve and profitability improve and distributors will be happy and shareholders will also hopefully be happy is what i am saying at the last point so this is the analysis comment down and let me know which company con call should i analyze next thank you